let's take a look at the course from the student perspective. So if a student's logged in and they're enrolled in a course, we'll just click on this one and take a look. This is a general home page for one of the courses. There are a few more components that show up here than a student would see because I'm logged in currently as an administrator. Um, but if I click start course, it will load the basic course shell. Um, over here on the left hand side you have the course title. Uh, if there's a timer, if, if there's an amount of time you want someone to complete the course, uh, the time remaining will show. The percentage completion bar uh, updates with each module that they complete. Um, so right now we have it set up with each one of these sort of main areas from the Canvas shell. We've transferred those, those over and created the same structure uh, for each individual module. So I'll go ahead and hop in and we'll take a look so this is, you know, module one after module reflection um, brought the material over. Uh, a student can look through this, read through this, watch any videos that uh, may be posted with those modules, listen to the audio. Um, as you click through any sort of assignments or links, all those things are, are based in here as well. So we have everything that opening in a new tab. So if you say click this, for instance, it's going to open up the PDF in a new tab and you can just pop back into the course. Uh, we have all external links open in a new tab so that the LMS stays open and they can uh, pop back in at any time. Um, one of the main things you need to encourage your students, and we'll put this in the student tutorials as well, is we need to make sure that the students are clicking, um, you know, at the bottom of each one of these modules, I'll go to one that I haven't completed. And so you can see the blue check marks on ones that I have. So at the bottom of this, you have previous unit, mark this unit complete, or next unit. Um, if a student will click mark this unit complete, before they move on to the next, you can see it'll pop up with that same check mark, and then the percentage increase will uh, continue as well. So this is um, one extra click, one extra step, but it's a way for the students to keep better track of where they are and what they finished. Um, it helps the student keep track, and it also helps the instructors keep track. Students also have the ability to ask questions on any given module. You can see at this bottom where it says discussion. If they click this, ask a question, a text box will pop up and they can type their question and hit post. Uh, when that happens, the instructors will get an email um, that a question has been asked by a student. Uh, and in a separate video, we'll look at the instructor dashboard where you can load all those in one place and respond when needed. If I look at the overview uh, 2.1, you can see um, what a video would look like embedded in here with the uh, course objectives. I jumped to this explore before meeting. Um, just to show a page with a little bit more content, but also there's a link resource assignment. There's a discussion board link. Um, when you click that, it takes you into the discussion board where you can read what other people have written and also post your own content in the discussion board as well. Uh, and instructors, we can set up whether or not an instructor wants to get an email when someone replies to a post, or if you just want to manually know to go check those. But from the student perspective, it, it's pretty straightforward. The Holler LMS is designed to be a linear path, so it's really made to you know start with this first module, work your way through, click Mark Complete as you move through just to get a good sense of the flow. We can get into a little more detail from the student end. Uh, if you have specific questions, let us know, and we can create more videos or schedule sessions uh, to talk through it with you.